and welcome. I'm Peggy. And I hope you can stay tuned for this show today. Um, we have some very special people here. <clears throat> and we also are highlighting a tremendous event which is occurring this weekend here in Greenville. And I'm honored to have the people here. We are talking about our Greenville Symphony Orchestra. Not just one concert, <clears throat> but the outreach to all of the upstate of South Carolina. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to introduce to you a young man who lives in Moscow, and he just landed in Greenville, and he's come to spend a little time here with us today, and he is the winner of the Van Cliburn Competition, and he's a brilliant young pianist. In fact, he, he is named, I guess, almost like you a hero or something. You, you, you're really very special worldwide now. And Vadim Kolendenko. Thank you. Hello. I got your name right. Thank you. Thank you. He lives in Moscow at the moment with his wife and small child, but he travels the world. And next to him is our own maestro. And I'm, of course, we're always delighted to see you. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, what a joy, Edvard. Edvard thank Schuster, you. Pleasure in case for people me don't know. And Thank Bill Johnson, who is the executive director of our Greenville Symphony. And I, I think this concert, I, I, I've got to tell people a little bit. There was a young man in Texas a long time ago, and he was kind of tall and slender, blonde hair. He wasn't movie star handsome. You wouldn't turn around and look at him. But when he sat down at the piano, God had given him a gift. And when he played the piano, it was fantastic. And as a young man, he won the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto competition. in Russia. Piano competition, sorry. Yeah, years ago. And he became famous almost overnight, an American pianist. And now he has his own competition, the Van Cliburn competition. And the young man sitting here won that competition, and they, they hold it every four years. And we're so pleased to have you. And he is playing this weekend, Saturday night and Sunday afternoon, with the Greenville Symphony Orchestra. And he's going to play the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto. Number one. Number one. Exactly piece which brought victory to the Van Kleiben in Moscow again. Yeah, this and you're playing... The same legendary concerto. Now, you've been to America before. Before, yeah. You, you spend, you've played in Japan, China, all over Europe. Oh. Uh, I mean, and now you're many here. Countries. So yeah. we are thrilled to have you and to welcome you to the United States and to South Carolina. Thank you so much. I'm very pleased to be here and uh, I'm very grateful to Greenville Orchestra, to Maestro, and they invited me and uh, I hope that people will love we want performance, people to at come least Tchaikovsky concerto. And hear this music. young man and hear our orchestra. If you haven't been there before, you've missed a treat. And of course, it's held at the Peace Center in downtown Greenville at 8 o'clock Saturday evening and 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Now, tell me a little bit about how, Beyond just this wonderful concert, we have a whole season of concerts. And you can come to all of them, or you can buy a ticket just to one of them, right? That's right. And Bill, beyond that, I want people to know, this isn't just some symphony concert that nobody else, if you don't know anything about classical music, you wouldn't bother to go. There are programs free for our children. That's right. Uh, and I mean, this is um, this is more than just you. Ca you call this? It's not an outreach. It's an educational. We call it our education and community engagement. Education program. and community engagement. Yes. All right. And we, these concerts are all free. Th they are all free, um, and um, we through these programs we reach about twenty-five thousand children every year. Uh, we have one program called EdReach, 
through which we visit every single elementary school in Greenville County and perform a concert at each one. We'll send ensembles of uh, uh, string ensemble, woodwind ensemble, and a solo percussionist, and um, all 51 schools. So there are 51 mm. elementary schools in Greenville County alone. Right. And this, our symphony gives a concert. A free concert. During the school year. Yes. In each one of these schools. And yes. they're free. They are. And you know mm. that some of these children would never have a chance to, to be in a concert hall and hear this kind of music. And what a treat. What, a, what an yeah, outreach. Many of them. And, and during those concerts, uh, <clears throat> our musicians will get up, each one, and talk about the instrument that he or she plays, and will talk about when they started playing an instrument. And usually, it's when they were nine years old or so. And many of the children that are sitting there on the floor or whatever listening to this concert are about the same age. And they realize, some of them, that shortly they'll be going on uh, to middle school. Mm -hmm and uh, be engaged in, have the opportunity to engage in string programs, et cetera. And of course, the lollipops, they're for lollipops little children. Lollipops is, you know, lollipops celebrated its uh, 50th anniversary last year, 50 years, and it was started by our symphony guild. Um, and uh, this is a free program, as you mentioned before. Uh, last weekend, uh, it was put on at, uh, the Greer um, uh, branch of the library, also uh, used main branch. We had, between the two, 458 parents and children come to these concerts. Uh, they are, um, and it, it's terrific because it's centered around a children's book and uh, someone will read the book and, um, and the musicians will perform. And then, um, you know, I think the library particularly likes us to be there because we encourage parents to stay afterwards to read to their children. So it's not only a, a musical concert, it has a literacy component too. Okay, and then we have something called Timber Tales. Uh, Timber Tales is a Timber -tales. collaboration that we have with the South Carolina Children's Theater okay. uh, that we are very proud of uh, uh, to join with them to do this. It's held at the South Carolina Children's Theater uh, one of their um, um, uh, teaching actors uh, will get up and perform uh, a children's play. It could be based on a children's book, and our musicians will accompany. Again, this is a, a free, um, free event. Well, we have a website, and uh, if you out there, if you're, if you're a parent of small children and you'd like an advantage for your child, costs you nothing but just getting there. That's right. And you can get onto that website and find out when all of these concerts and things are coming up all during the school year. And it's, and, it's and a I should also thing. add, you know, we have our Michelin Children's Concert. Every that's, year we have almost That's four. usually in January, isn't it? Uh, yes, uh, but uh, we're, we've moved it a little bit later in the year okay. uh, because, to avoid the snow if there was any, <laughs> um, because we've had that issue. We moved to November, uh, right? Uh, and yes, yes. Um, and. Uh, uh, we have two performances at the Peace Center, almost 4,000 children. Michelin very generously uh, sponsors that concert. And then we also have a concert for middle school children that uh, Duke Energy sponsors, and we do that. Uh, we have, uh, last year was the first year, this will be the second year we're doing it at the um, uh, Croc Center. Yeah, I didn't, and that's at the Croc Center. I didn't know how many of our viewers really knew how much participation there is by by these musicians who give so much back to the community and I wanted people to know that. Now this is the Greenville Symphonies how many years? This is our 66th 60, season. 66th six season. Yeah, that's 60, 66 yeah. Mm -hmm. years. Yeah. Yeah. And so they have they have grown and and flourished and magnificently. And how did we happen to have Vadim? How did we happen to get him? Uh, because uh, already many years, I would say, Greenland Symphony um, signed special contract with um, Ben Clyburn International Piano Competition. Whoever wins competition, we're going to invite, and it must be arranged in advance. So if you look at our brochure, it's no name of winner, no, because, yeah, because the time we know. built right. our season, we didn't know who will be winner. 
So it says the winner, and the winner is like an yeah. Oscar ceremony. And finally, he is, this time is Vadim Haladenko, but we played with previous, um, on my terms, previous uh, three times. Olga Kern in 2001 won, uh, also from Moscow. Then it was uh, Kobrin, and it was uh, some girl from China, I believe, yeah. last uh, five years ago. And now we have very fresh hero, winner of, I would say, the most prestigious competition in the world today. This is the, the most outstanding yeah. Yeah. competition in the world. Yeah, and I can't tell you, I was, I remember very well, I was schoolboy in my seven grades in Leningrad, special musical school, when uh, Ben Kleiber won competition, so you, first Tchaikovsky competition. You were competition. a schoolboy I was a schoolboy, I was so inspired by this concerto number one of Tchaikovsky, which he played. I asked my teacher to allow me to study and play this concerto myself. And I was allowed, and uh, I actually graduated uh, special musical school playing this concerto when I uh, okay. go, went to conservatorium. Okay. So it was a special event in 1958, plus it was kind of uh, event which warmed very much uh, cool war. Because, oh, well. yeah, it was scandalous. Yeah. See, you were a schoolboy when this competition When Ben Clyburn from ben Texas Clyburn, came. When Ben American, won it. And I think I'm right about this. They really kind of didn't want to give the oh, prize. Oh, really? They, yeah. Can they, she be uh, demanded from jury? They, don't ha they didn't have to give first prize to American guy. Yeah. Because America was enemy, Khrushchev. Yeah, uh, I know. We were, we're kind of at odds. But jury, it was Gilles, famous Russian player, to their owner, they saying, you can kill us or imprison us, but we're not going to change our mind. We don't like to get out of Moscow concert hall, and audience yeah. will throw rotten tomatoes in us. Because, and yeah. they kept, and because Van Kleiber was so higher than anybody. Other. He was so good it's that beautiful. regardless yeah. of how much they resented it, mm. they had to give him the prize. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I said when he sat down that he, God gave him a gift that was beyond what most people. And this is, and he became, he established uh, Van Kleiber yeah. competition. Now he has his own. Fortunately, we just yeah. all very okay. unfortunate. He died. Van Kleiber died, February of nine, uh, 2013, yeah. just yeah. less than not, a year ago. Unfortunately, ago. but he was great guy, great player. And again, I'm glad that with Vadim, uh, who won this prize, gold medal, will play exactly the same concerto. Right. It is favorite of any audience, Tchaikovsky number yeah, one. Right. You cannot play anything right. more famous. Now we're going, we're going <laughs> to popular. hear, we're going to hear Vadim play a little bit. I don't, I hope some of it is the Tchaikovsky. No, no, sure he will play here. now Prokofiev right. number three, we're which to, was an... We're going to give you a treat, and we have a, just a tiny From sample. competition, right? So we're going to hear this music before we go to a break.